The issue with the Rolls-Royce XWB97 engine on the A350 has not occurred for the first time, but it got worse than you think. Even the impact becomes more serious, and a real solution remains elusive, as Rolls-Royce has yet to deliver a concrete fix. One airline has openly voiced its frustration and demanded immediate action from all parties involved to take accountability and resolve the issue. So why say that it become worse? What solution will Rolls-Royce offer? And most importantly, which airline is expressing dissatisfaction? Let's find out in today's episode. The Airbus A350 issue has recently been paid much attention to. On September 2nd, an Airbus A350 departing from Hong Kong to Zurich had to turn back and land after an engine issue. According to an investigation conducted by the Hong Kong Aircraft Accident Investigation Authority, AAIA for short, fuel may have leaked through a damaged pipe, causing a widespread engine fire and significant damage to the aircraft. Following the incident, Cathay Pacific temporarily grounded its entire A350 fleet for inspection. Parts from the British manufacturer Rolls-Royce were subsequently replaced on 15 of the 48 aircraft. So what does EASO say? Before we dive into the exploration, hold on. You won't want to miss the latest breaking news and our unique insights into aviation. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. We'd love it if you could like, share, and drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for being here with us. According to their own information, EASA has listed the types of engines potentially affected by the fuel pipe issue in an airworthiness directive. Further inspections revealed that five other fuel pipes within the same engine were also faulty. These are Rolls-Royce engines installed on Airbus A350-900 and A350-1000 models. As a result, earlier this month, the European Union Aviation Safety Agency ordered airlines to carry out visual inspections of the Rolls-Royce XWB-97 engines. In-service and in-shop inspections since then have identified that a specific cleaning process available during engine refurbishment may lead to fuel manifold main fuel hose degradation, the agency said in a statement. The announcement came after Hong Kong investigators confirmed they found a puncture in a fuel pipe following a fuel leak that ignited one of the Rolls-Royce engines on an Airbus aircraft operated by Cathay Pacific, forcing the A351000 jet to return to base. Fortunately, no one was injured in the incident. The initial report also stated that the investigation, still ongoing, will cover aspects from design, production, and installation to maintenance, and that authorities will gather more information from manufacturers and maintenance facilities. The responsibility for detailed analysis rests with the Hong Kong authorities, and the investigation is still underway. In an updated bulletin, EA Say expanded the scope of previous engine inspections to include all A350 models that had undergone certain maintenance activities. However, they downgraded this measure by removing the revised airworthiness directive from the most severe emergency category, indicating a reduced concern for immediate safety risks. Analysts noted that the visual inspections and measurements of the components do not require much time or resources. This is a serious issue, as 15 Airbus A350 aircraft required part replacements following the incident. Fortunately, the problem was discovered early, preventing any harm to people. These incidents have raised concerns about the engine's safety across Cathay Pacific's entire A350 fleet, especially after inspections revealed issues in 15 other aircraft. The report stated that if left undetected and unaddressed, this situation could have escalated into a more severe engine fire potentially causing significant damage to the aircraft. To address this issue, the AAA recommended that the European Union Aviation Safety Agency require Rolls-Royce to develop new inspection requirements for the affected engines. Rolls-Royce is also cooperating to replace and repair the impacted parts, particularly in the engine maintenance processes. They have identified a cleaning process during engine refurbishment that could lead to fuel pipe damage and are adjusting this procedure to prevent similar incidents in the future. In the days following the incident, EASA responded by requiring operators using the same type of engine to inspect the fuel lines and remove any potentially damaged pipes. Since then, the agency has replaced these emergency measures with a broader inspection regime covering several variants of the Trent XWB engine. The agency stated that inspections indicated a specific cleaning process available during engine refurbishment could lead to the degradation of the fuel pipes. Cathay Pacific received its first Airbus A350 in 2016. This aircraft quickly became a crucial part of the long-haul fleets of many airlines worldwide, thanks to its high performance and cost-effective operation. 
The engines play a significant role in this efficiency, with the Trent XWB developed by Rolls-Royce specifically for the A350. Initial incidents raised concerns about the potential for serious issues affecting the entire A350 fleet, presenting a significant challenge for the British manufacturer. The issues with this popular aircraft have inevitably caused airlines to feel anxious, confused, and even disappointed. JetBlue Airways is frustrated with the state of its Airbus jets. CEO Joanna Garrity expressed on Thursday that it's far from ideal for engine issues to ground brand new aircraft. They're great planes. We want to fly them, she said at the Skift Global Forum Travel Industry Conference. Last July, RTX's RTX subsidiary, Pratt & Whitney, identified a problem with the metal used in manufacturing its PW1100 GJM geared turbofan engines. Specifically, the issue affects the high-pressure turbine and compressor discs made from powdered metal. Due to the risk of cracks, all of these engines must be inspected or taken out of service to ensure they aren't compromised. Airbus uses the PW1100 GJM engines on its A320neo aircraft, which JetBlue operates. If you were the head of JetBlue, what would you do with the problem with the Airbus aircraft engine, which affected to operation and finances of the company? Engine-related issues have caused disruptions for many airlines across the industry. In its latest annual report, JetBlue indicated it could take up to a year for an affected plane to reach a repair facility for inspection and resolution. Spirit Airlines, a former partner of JetBlue, is set to receive up to $200 million in compensation for lost capacity. While we are working with Pratt & Whitney to secure compensation, the full impact of the removal and any potential remediation steps remains uncertain, JetBlue said in its most recent annual report. Another news from Royal Dutch Airlines. On September 16th, KLMA Royal Dutch Airlines marked a new era for the airline by introducing the Airbus A321neo into its fleet. According to its tradition, the airline has named this special aircraft Swallowtail. The airline has decided on the names for the first four A321neo aircraft to be delivered. The arrival of this new aircraft is an important step in the rigorous renewal program initiated by KLM to support cleaner, quieter, and more efficient flight operations. From mid-September, the A321neo will begin serving several European destinations. I've been looking forward to this with great anticipation. The arrival of the first A321neo marks the start of replacing our Boeing 737 fleet. The Neo produces less noise and carbon dioxide and therefore contributes significantly to a cleaner, quieter future. It also offers more comfort. I'm looking forward to seeing how our passengers will experience the new aircraft, said Marjan Rintel, president and CEO KLM. KLM will be investing 7 billion euros in its fleet renewal program over the next few years, which accounts for a substantial share of its total investment portfolio. On European routes, the airline, Will be replacing its older Boeing. 737s with Airbus A320neo and A321neo aircraft. At KLM City Hopper, new E2 models will join the Embraer 175 and 190 aircraft. For intercontinental flights, the airline will be adding five new Boeing 787-10, followed by the Airbus A350 replacing the older 777 and A330. Finally, they have ordered four A350F for its cargo division to replace the 747 freighters. After receiving its first A321neo in August, the Dutch airline finally put this aircraft into service on flight KL1267 between Amsterdam Schiphol Airport and Copenhagen Airport. In total, on its first day of operation, the first A321neo completed six flights according to Flight Radar 24 data and returned to AMS at 22.47 local time. As the summer season of the International Air Transport Association comes to an end, KLM's schedule, like many others worldwide, will change to adapt to the seasonality in the Northern Hemisphere. The IATA summer of 2024 will end on October 26th, with the winter season lasting until March 29th, 2025. In the coming days, the airline plans for the A321neo to operate on a schedule identical to that of September 16th, connecting Amsterdam with three other European capitals within a short flight from AMS. In the following weeks, they will add several more destinations expected to be served by this aircraft, according to the airline's earlier announcements. Thus, in addition to the three current destinations served by the aircraft, 
It will also be seen by KLM at Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport, Vaclav, Havel Airport Prague, and Vienna Airport. According to data from aviation analytics firm Sirium, KLM has scheduled 41 weekly flights to six destinations using this aircraft in October. A spokesperson for KLM stated that the Dutch airline will welcome its second A321neo by the end of September. In the announcement regarding the first flight of this aircraft, the airline noted that it would add three more by the end of 2024.